The film begins when the petite mademoiselle, representing the grace and majesty of France, approaches the young and rugged little boy America. She carries a fleur de lis in both hands, swinging it from side to side as she comes up to the little boy America. They become fast friends, and petite mademoiselle bestows upon little boy America the, the precious gift of her fleur de lis, a part of her identity in a gesture of companionship and gracious might. So little boy America takes petite mademoiselle's gift of amity and grace and plants the seed of friendship on his freshly earned American soil. The seed, with his nurturing care, sprouts into the Statue of Liberty, a universal symbol of peace, majesty, and above all, camaraderie between two great nations. As the statue sprouts and becomes an essential part of the American identity, Little Boy America takes Petite Mademoiselle's hands and sits on a bench with her, never letting go despite the years going by, and whatever problems arise in the world. The taller the statue gets, the more she symbolizes the open arms of the developing and prosperous nation to peoples immigrating from all corners of the world, and the more she develops into a part of American society too strong to be uprooted. As the world develops around her, so does the pure symbol of friendship between France and the United States of America. The music of this piece is for piano, occasionally accompanied by violin and cello. It features the Star-Spangled Banner, as well as other original melodies inspired by the serene grandeur of the statue. At the very end of the credits, the climax of the music occurs, during which the piano is playing the Star-Spangled Banner, while at the same time, the cello is playing phrases from the French National Anthem. The fact that, the, that these two anthems can be played simultaneously and sound beautiful, complementing each other, is yet more proof of the excellent relationship between America and France. The green color that the statue took on as it aged has also made her a new leader in another value, a value not only crucial to the exemplary friendship between France and America, but also to global friendship and global prosperity, environmentally friendly and renewable energy. Already, windmills from West Virginia and Pennsylvania provide electricity to light her torch. Not only this alternative energy better for the environment, it does not cost more taxpayer money than using oil and natural gas as energy sources. In the future, perhaps Our Lady Liberty can have her torch powered by solar panels that are arranged on her torch in such a way that they reflect the light of the sun and make the torch glow aside from being lit. In the future, she will be a leader in the campaign to save our planet with green, environmentally friendly, renewable energy. For as friendship can be renewed, adapted, and nothing but healthy for all involved, green energy is one and the same. Therefore, the statue is moving into the new times with little boy America and petite mademoiselle still sitting on their bench, watching their tree grow, and watching it carry the never-fading torch of freedom, hope, friendship, and love.